four months ago, a disease was born into the world. It became popular everywhere. What was this disease? He was an Aquarian like me. He was quirky, weird, and came up, but yet he was still popular. But yet, in late August, the demon known as Nickelodeon swallowed him up. Gobbled him up like the Thanksgiving turkey. Promoting trash to more trash to the network that even my trash can and my at my house, which is on the corner that has more trash which has better things in it than what Nickelodeon has. It's a devastating thing. It's very devastating. <sighs> maybe, maybe we all now remember Silento's career. Hello everybody and welcome to the Weekend Binge. If you have been told by the poster I posted on Instagram, which the link is broken, broken, I have to fix that one day. <sighs> Ironically, this episode is revolving around Silento's death. Actually, his death of his career, not his actual death. Oh my lord. It all started on late, very late August, I think around like August 30th or something like that. I remember the day it was on August 30th or the 29th. Silento was called from his Atlanta, Georgia home and brought here to New York or California or wherever the heck they were recording at. He was trapped in a cage. And yet, actually, it doesn't look like it's a cage masquerading as a dance studio where he recorded his song at originally. He then started to, and after he was forced to put on that same smile he did on his official music video, and I know deep inside of him, he was eternally screaming while doing stupid dances. From all the stupid crap that has came on Nickelodeon. Except Harry Beaks. Harry Beaks is still fine. Those included it. SpongeBob Moppin from the two first from the what's the name of the episode? Um uh it's from one of those SpongeBob specials. It's not true for square because that's the other one. Oh yeah, yeah, it was true for square. Another one was was the Harvey Freak, which Harvey Beaks just hops from one leg to another. And the final one, of course, what is Nickelodeon without no, no potty humor? The Wee Wee Dance. Hello, Kimberly Clark. I like to talk about. I like to claim a lawsuit against Viacom and Nickelodeon for using your infamous Wee Wee Dance from the Bluffs commercial back in 2009, if I'm correct. By that fact, I mean that this is pathetic. Even when I saw it on in, on Twitter, Twitter, even No Chill and Mari, yeah, Mari, not the official Mari, just the Mari Variety account, said that Nickelodeon's pathetic now, and I don't blame them. And let's start from one episode which I really hate, one show that I'm starting to hate with all my might, all my soul, all my my high blood pressure that I have inside of me and you know what I'm talking about no it's not the newest episode of Spongebob because at least Stephen Hillenberg is coming back back to help this show get back to normal that doesn't that doesn't work not any well okay so how about we get down to business here and talk about what I'm really, 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 really want to talk about today. And that is Pig, Goat, Banana, Cricket. This show is awfully atrocious. The animation said it looks like Ren and Stempy. It looks like my anus. I would never love a show like this. This, it has all the ripoff of Uncle Grandpa. 
And I'd rather be pleasuring myself watching that than watching this. Because I can tell you right now, all the characters that you see here are a direct ripoff of Uncle Grandpa. Uh, Pig is, of course, Uncle Grandpa. His idiotic stupidity and his his retardness kind of gets it on, on fleek. And I think we might be watching a copyrighted episode. Now this, this is the episode I hate with all my might. This is what made me want to review this in the first place. As you see here... Here, the four fucking tears have them are chilling in their messy home. And Goat, what is she laying under a pizza? Of course, here's Pig. She is, he, he loves pickles more than anything. It's kind of like a fetish. And Cricket is the genius of the show. Goat is the Dot Warner because of her lack of patience and all that kind of stuff. But you know what I'm going to get at here. Nonetheless, this is, uh, let me continue talking about this. I remember this episode like the back of my hand. Some dumb crap happens with him unclogging the toilet or something like that. It all starts from this very wheel right here. They spin it and they decide who does the chore. Or, as you see here, they loved their chores so much. So, go, I guess let's clean out the chimney. Um, and... Uh, I really don't know what I'm doing myself here. I'm just wasting time. Here we go. Cricket has to do whatever the heck that is. I'm not unmuting this video because my fear of copyright. Oh, watch the clothes. Yeah, of course. Nickelodeon been doing potty humor for 25 years. 25 years, and it still doesn't, still never dies out. At least with this generation of kids. I remember back in the 90s, I learned to see this today it was, but I'm not being a hater, 2000 was a sign also, but saying 2010 was a bit whack. And this is where we'll get to the, to the main plot, which is the toilet. Oh no, the toilet, what can be so fucking bad about cleaning a toilet? It's like, actually, we all know what's going to happen here. And probably there'll be some turd joke or something like that that will... Get this off chain. Alright. So here's the toilet right here. Of course, it's gross. And what we can't have without one second of ass humor. Alright, because that's what Nickelodeon is. And holy hell, what is that? Now, that is gotta be the most dis disturbing thing I ever saw on children's television. A beautiful rabbit coming outside of a toilet? So anyway, fast forwarding this. This pizza. He gets sent down to the world to find out that he gets captured by a bunch of man skunks. They, kinda, they get mad because the sweet little princess who is covered in I don't want to even know. Well, wants, to, wants her little... Oh my god. Alright, I'm done with the show. Not yet, I haven't finished yet. Wants to clean... Not clean. Wants to... Uh, brain farts. Wants to clean, wants not wants her little candy land not to smell like ass. But yet, how can you say that? Your town is in a toilet. You get to there via toilet. How can you say you don't want it to smell like butt? It's like saying you don't want your sewer to smell like a sewer if you have like a like a perfume department down there. Even though a sewer is supposed to smell like that. Yeah. But, yet, this show has no reason, I have no reason for it, I never will, I never have, and I don't want to. I never, I never wish to write for this, I never wish to voice act for this, I never even done voice acting in my life, so, anyway. Wait, but yet, this show is, stu is stupid on levels I can even explain. It's stupid because it loves to have torture porn like this. Even though it doesn't count much as a torture porn instead of a, a dumbass moment. Anyway, like I said, that the rabbit tricks pig into getting into a bunch of man skunks. And it really pisses me off. It just burns me up inside like the flame. And of course, pig becomes a pussy and finds a cupcake because he's a fat, because he's like a tortoise. Yeah, another hipster moment. He's always hungry and he loves food. And here comes the man skunks. Looking like Mr. T just had like Mr. T before you 
if you didn't get his, if you didn't take a shot. Anyway, like I was saying just before, they don't want their tonight to smell like butt. I mean, they want, they are mad because they can't let their fumes out. So, if I'm correct, pig trains how to be a skunk. Skunk and for um, air tries to betray the betray the so Okay, you know what? I have just lost. That's that's strike three. I mean strike two. If I get another strike three, I am I am wrapping up this review. You know, cause, cause, seriously, I am seriously gonna die of die of, of agony of stupidity by watching this. I can feel my brain cells melt into a to a big pile of goo. So he decides decides that he wants his skunk the skunk's way to be everywhere, even though he's protecting a town. But yet, that'll kind of make logical sense, because it's in a toilet! How can you not have your toilet smell like butt? That's 